So no sooner had we started talking about loud booms mm -hmm. than the news organization put together an article very clickbaity, right? Isn't clickbait right. where you're like you click on it because of the title, hoping that they'll mm -hmm. resolve or pay off, right? And uh, there, the article was basically five paragraphs of we don't know. Yes, we called other people and they don't know either. Oh yeah, that's lame. <laughs> it's, it's, like here's the thing: at that point, is. at least speculate, which they can't do as a news organization, right? But I would want people to. But we can. Yeah. <laughs> and in fact, I'd like to, here's the daily double down. <laughs> I'd like to double down on my theory from last week. We're going to go back on sonic booms. Yeah. Being the theory. Mm -hmm. Now I had talked about, and I just pulled a number out of my ass. Right. A random number. I talked about, uh, let's say an experimental aircraft mm -hmm. used to be called UFOs. The government's using a brand new term so they can avoid disclosing what they know mm -hmm. about UAPs. I think I said UAE. No, Mike. <laughs> That's the United Arab Emirates. Anyway, <laughs> UAPs are unidentified Aerial. anomalous oh, yeah. phenomenon, I think. Something like that. And that so that could also include USOs, unidentified uh -huh. submersible objects. Okay. Anyway, I just speculated, okay, you know, uh, let's talk about how Area 51 is... A hop, skip, and a jump away if you're going Mach 10. Mm -hmm. Well, and wasn't one of the first people to ever report a UFO a pilot from Idaho? Yeah, we talked about that. Right, right. So it's safe to say we're in that neck of the woods. Yes, I would say so. And I, again, I speculated Mach 10. Well, mm -hmm. I had no idea how close I was. Uh, I looked into this. The fastest plane on record, Carly, is the NASA A40, I'm sorry, NASA X43A. Uh huh. That's right. It goes Mach 10. 9.6. Okay. Well, and I do want to point out on record. On record. <laughs> this so this is what we know for sure. So we know for sure and I also did this on uh, thanks Google Maps. Um Area 51 is 450 miles from Idaho Falls as the crow flies. That's not taking freeways, that's just a direct point to point flight, mm -hmm. let's say, mm -hmm. since we're speculating right. and I'm doubling down, which I am. <laughs> so let's say a plane traveling Mach 9.6 is breaking the speed of sound nine times over. Right. That's 7,366 miles per hour mm -hmm. or 123 miles a minute. Wow. If Area 51 is 450 miles away and a plane can travel at 123 miles a minute, <laughs> how long does it take to get from Area 51 to Idaho Falls, Idaho? Glad you asked. <laughs> About 3.6 minutes. Wow. Now, here's where it gets a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. That test flight of the NASA X-43A oh, yeah? was 20 years ago in 2004. Oh, wow. So that's, we're going off of, because you might say, now, Mike, be realistic. Could that really happen? Not only could it happen, mm -hmm. but it has happened, and it happened 20 years ago. So how much further could we be by now? You're seeing my point. I am. I love that we're crackpots on the I'm internet that can right. say whatever we want. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the news. Not the news. So hear me out. If a plane 20 years ago mm -hmm. could go almost Mach 10, let's say there is one going Mach 10 now that we've what? developed. Mm -hmm. And we're hearing about this stuff in Nevada, in Utah, and in Idaho. Uh -huh. What was that loud boom? Right. The sheriff's department does it, but it can't be a sonic boom. Can't it? Are you sure it can't be? Um, then I looked into this. Mysterious skyquakes have been heard all over the world for more than 200 years, but scientists have yet to uncover the cause and the origin of the bizarre noises. Oh, that's uh -huh. wild. Uh -huh. hmm. Just something to think about. What was 200 years ago? I don't know. The Industrial <laughs> Revolution? We started showing signs of life in a global economy. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. Where otherworldly visitors might want to take notice. <laughs> Maybe. I just, I looked into it a little bit more and wanted to share that because mm -hmm. it makes more sense now that I've looked into it. Yeah. Sometimes you look into stuff and it's like, well, that fell apart. Right, right. <laughs> I, I would agree with that. Yeah, I'd say it's either that or it's a redneck who's just messing with everyone hmm. with some real loud, real illegal fireworks. It could be. <laughs> it's probably not, but you know. It could also be that um, we're, uh, you know, uh, blowing shit up out in the desert. Totally. I, I mean, mean I, I think that a lot of loud booms were heard by Tooele. Uh huh. Uh, looks like Tule, Utah. Right. Which is close to the Dugway Proving Grounds. 
That's true. That's where I went to my first rave. There's a story <laughs> for another day. You're so cool. Out in the mid- <laughs> middle of the Utah desert. I don't know if I'm cool. That story certainly doesn't make me cool. But anyway, <laughs> I took a pill in Ibiza. No, um, anyway. <laughs> well, I was going to say, song? you're either cool or you're an art. So <laughs> which would you rather be? <laughs> uh, I was young. It was a different time. Different yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where I've were we? I've been to a rave. Oh, yeah. Oh, haven't you? No. Oh, my goodness. No. Honestly, I don't know if I could. Yeah. I think I'm too old now. You've seen the opening scene of Blade, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with the blood <laughs> yeah. from the sprinklers. It's yeah. Not, Va- Vampire nightclub. It, it wasn't like that. <laughs> anyway, is this? I'm sure at some point, <laughs> this is where Alpha's watching the show, and you shouldn't be. Go to bed. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be saying, okay, boomer. Mm-hmm. <laughs>